Hello folks, time for another video and shave. All right, well, happy new year everybody. It's finally here, the end of 2019 or 2019. And uh, it was a tough decision today to figure out what I'm gonna shave with at the, this is actually technically New Year's Eve because I don't know when I'm gonna get this video up. Hopefully I'll get it up today. Um, but in case it makes it up tomorrow, happy new year everybody. And uh, I was in a bay rum mood today, and I have many bay rums. But I was like, you know what? I kind of want a sweeter kind of bay rum. So I grabbed the soap that I actually haven't shaved with in a while. It's actually one of my favorite bay rums. And of course, the heat's got to kick on. <laughs> it's early in the morning on uh, New Year's Eve here, but hopefully the uh, kids won't wake up and bother me in my shave. But anyway, I'm going to be using Zingari Man's Nomad today. And this is in the vegan formula. I know uh, Heather now has a uh, tallow-based formula. I think it's called the Sego or Sego uh, version. I do not have that one. I have the tallow version, which I love it. And um, I actually still have it. I use this a lot. Not lately in my videos, but I've used this a lot in the past, and I still got a pretty good amount here. And I've actually scraped some out of my bowl today. This smells so good. It's a bay rum, and what it consists of is uh, sweet bay, lime, and rum. Mm. Such a great scent. Um, I actually scraped some out of the tub, and it's been soaking in my bowl, my timeless bowl while I took a shower. And I figured, you know what, since I'm ending the year... So got water near for my shower. <laughs> is I'm gonna shave with the Rex Ambassador today. Got the good old Rex Ambassador, and I'm on setting number four. If you can see that number four, and the blade that's in there. By the way, can you see the cool Rex logo on the bottom there? I don't know if you guys can see that. Such a cool razor. Love this razor. And this razor was gifted to me by two awesome gentlemen from the Redbeard Shave Lounge on Facebook. Great guys. And the blade that's in there is a brand new first use Persona Red, which is the Persona Platinum. I don't know why, I just felt like shaving with a Persona Red today. So, brush is going to be my craving shaving. Nice green and black brush with that awesome Fanturian knot in there. And look how it's been soaking, but look how nice and plush that knot is. So, uh, freshly out of the shower, I have like, oh, definitely three days of growth here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but plenty of growth. I don't have any more of that. I have a little bit of that dry skin here and still have a little bit of the little red dot there, but that was an ingrown hair that. Hopefully I won't aggravate today, but I should be good. All right, so I'm going to lather this up. You guys can chill out with me while I lather this up. Now, one thing that's awesome about Zingari is it can take a ton of water. Now, back, oh, over a year ago, when I started getting into Zingari soaps, uh, I tried everything to kill the soap. I mean, I put tons of water in it. I put not enough water in it. And at least with the vegan base, I haven't tried the towel base except for a couple uh, samples. And it's pretty good too. But I really love the vegan base because you can throw gallons of water at it not enough water and it still performs great and it whips up nice and fast and it doesn't take you like 15 20 minutes to whip up a lather not that there's any kind of time limit but i mean with a couple little swirls already it's already looking nice and it's got that great scent i love the scent of the nomad Nomad was actually my first Zingari soap. 
and then there was Lothario, which I don't think is any long, well, no longer in production. Lothario is my go-to tobacco kind of scent, and then I have Mariner, which is an awesome scent. I love the Mariner, and also I have the uh, the Tribe soap, the Zingari Tribe soap. Which Heather made for the uh, Soldier Dog program. I think I am going to go with that right now. I mean, look how nice and creamy and peaky that is. And that didn't take too long at all. Plus, that nice Venturian nut that's in this Craving Shaving Brush is a. Uh, does a great job. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Now the bother's nice and peaky. All right, so I'm thinking today that even though the soap has phenomenal slickness, I think I'm going to go with a pre-shave. And I'm going to go with the Cube 2.0. Pull my shirt away from my neck there because now I'm going to get lather all over myself anyway. So I'm just going to apply a little cube. Oh, and then I was tagged by uh, Elmer Fudd, a.k.a. Todd. Uh, in a tag video, um, which was his 54321 video, which I'll explain that in a second. And that is uh, your, his five best soaps, uh, four post shaves. And three razors. Is it three razors? <laughs> I kind of forgot already. It's. I think it's three. Uh, three brushes. Two razors. One blade. That's it. So it's five soaps. Five of your best soaps. Four of your favorite post shaves three of your favorite brushes, two of your favorite razors, and one being your favorite blade, which is, this is going to be a tough one for me because I have so many favorites. I was actually going to do a uh, favorites of 2019 or 2019, but Todd tagged me in already, so that'll probably be my next video, hopefully. I will try to get that out soon for him. All right, so we're going to go with some Zingari Man Nomad. Mmm. Wow, what a way to end the year. This is such an awesome scent. This brush almost feels like I have a pillowy cloud on my face. Mm. That's such an awesome lather. Better than that lather I had in my last video. <laughs> but I will try that other soap that I used the other day, that Barber Up. I will try bowl lather in that. Wow, this stuff is so pillowy and nice. I love that scent. I love my bay rums. But I really like sweet bay rum. Gotta love that sweet bay. I 
All right. Well, I got lather all over my shirt, but you know, wouldn't be one of my shaves if I didn't. All right, so we're gonna go with the Rex Ambassador. Setting number four. With a nice, fresh Persona Red Blade in there. Rex Ambassador, number setting number four, if you can see that. Nice. I know Rex has that new razor. Wow, that is a funky sounding car that just drove by. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the new Rex has that new razor. I actually, I think it's, actually I don't know what the name of it is. I don't want to guess. But it looks just like the Ambassador without the uh, adjustment. It's a non-adjustable. Looks interesting. Tell you what, the scent of that Nomad, it's so awesome. I've been neglecting the Zingari soaps lately because I have so many new artisan soaps I've been trying out that sometimes you forget to go with what soaps you really like. You know, especially when you get down that rabbit hole. Now, one thing that's good about Zingari is the residual slickness is awesome. Oh, by the way, somebody asked me one time about the Rex. The Rex doesn't have any overhang with the blade at all on the sides. None. So, you don't have to worry about, like, you know, getting close up to your nose or your earlobes. Ah, somebody's calling my wife's phone already. All right, that was a really nice first pass. And that Nomad, I guess, is, has great residual slickness. My face feels nice and well protected and slick. Plus, it has that awesome scent. Yeah, that's nice. Good stuff there. Got some lather in your nose. That's okay. Have a little bit there in the ear, but not much. All right. What I'm going to do on my next pass is I'm going to take the Rex. I'm going to bring it down to number three. Just turn it down a little bit. One setting. Grab some more Nomad. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. From my bowl, my Thomas bowl. Such a nice creamy lather. So 
So I hope everybody has a great new year coming up. Me and my wife and the kids are probably just going to stay home. Usually the kids fall asleep by the time <laughs> New Year's hits anyway. So, we'll see how that goes. All right. So now we'll go back to the Rex Ambassador. This time we're on setting number three, not four. And we'll do a little bit against the grain. I guess the kids are sleeping in today. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself. I know my son was up late playing his video games. And my granddaughter had a couple of friends sleep over, so. are not knocking on the door. That was pretty good right there. It's amazing how wet I get my counter. That's so why I put this towel up here so I don't lean into it and I get my pants all wet <laughs> or my shirt. Alrighty. I got a little, little weeper right there, but not a major one. Wow, that soap is slick. Especially with the help of the cube, it even gets slicker. I am almost good. My face is feeling nice and smooth and BBS. Just going to do one little coat under the chin. For a last 2019 pickup. That's nice. Nice and smooth. Forgot about my clock again. Sorry if you hear it tick tocking away there. I keep on forgetting to uh, either pull the battery or put the clocks in place else while I'm shaving. All right, that is gonna do me fine. Oh, yeah, I am good. Drain the sink. Rinse off the old Rex. Lots of stubble in my sink. Just gonna wipe. 
wipe down my sink again because I am the slob of water on the counter. All right. Let's do a little cold water rinse and since I got that little wee pro, I hit myself up with some alum. Wow, my face is slick. Like really slick. Nice cold water too. All right, I'm gonna leave my face wet, and my shirt's pretty wet too. <laughs> and you know, I'm gonna grab that Allen block that my son-in-law gave me. Usually, I use my Omega, but today I'm gonna use that Barber Up Allen block that my son-in-law got me for Christmas. Give that a shot. Plus, this green kind of goes with the theme here. And my face is still wet, so I'll just wet the Allen block a little bit. Yeah, feedback is minimal. The only stinging that I'm actually getting is right there where I kind of got that little bit of weeper. But the rest of my face feels great. The alum block. I'm used to my alum stick. <laughs> there we go. It's a pretty good block. Very affordable. I checked it on Amazon after my son in law gave it to me just to see. And maybe next time I will master that matching soap to this. Gets better lather out of it. So that was the uh, Barber Up. Their green block, which is basically an Allen block. I'm just going to leave it open. All right, I'll let that dude's job for a minute. I'll go back over my shave. That, of course, was Zingari. Uh, Nomad in the vegan formula and that was my craving shaving brush thanks Josh for sending me this brush <laughs> and that also not and there's that Nomad soap which is you can tell oh ho, ho, look at that it's so creamy so creamy and delicious such a great sweet bay rum scent. Well, that's some hot water. I have to have one of the fastest hot water heaters around. As soon as I take a shower, it really heats up that water again. Super hot. Sorry, just rinsing up my brush. Because as it has that awesome Fanturian knot in it, and the knot is from uh, that darn rod, and it's that awesome Fanturian knot there. Love that color. It's my favorite, you know, colors. And handles green and black. Love my green and black. All right, my face is feeling nice, smooth. And of course, that was my timeless bowl with the 
Lather's still in there. <laughs> Take care of that later. And that was the Rex Ambassador. On originally I started on setting four, and I moved it down to setting three. And blade that's in there is the Persona Red, which is stuck to the bottom cap there. And you can see the Persona blade right there. Pop it off there for you. Persona. The Persona Red, which is the Persona Platinum. You can see it right there. All right, that was some good stuff. So wipe down my razor. I'll give it a full wipe down later on when I'm editing my video like I usually do. Easy razor to maintain. Very easy razor to maintain. All right, so I'm just gonna rinse this alum off my face. Always reminds me of the ocean because you kind of get that that salty taste on your lips. Well, at least I didn't have any lather go down my ear canal to this time. So I didn't end the year with the crackling lather in the ear canal. <laughs> All right, my face feels phenomenal. Now, what's gonna be awesome is what I finished this shave with. Can't have a Nomad shave without some Nomad aftershave bomb. This is actually one of my favorite bombs out there. I actually have two of them because I like it so much. Just a few squirts in the hand. By the way, it also the scent of this also matches the soap 100%. Oh, it's so, so awesome. It goes on smooth, not oily. Soaks in. There's no alcohol in it. So you won't get that little bit of stinging or burning unless you're into that. <laughs> mm. That is glorious. Zingari bombs always treat my face well. Even if you have one of those shades where it's a little rough, a Zingari bomb will save the day. And when it actually soaks in and dries, it doesn't leave your face feeling kind of greasy or, you know, that, like that lotion feel feels great. It dries nice and your face feels so, superb. Awesome deal. It's a good bomb for winter time too. If you go outside after the, after you shave, you don't get that, phew, that shock of the cold. All right, folks. So. That was basically my New Year shave. And my next video will consist of that challenge from uh, Elmer Fudd, uh, which is the 54321 challenge, which hopefully that'll be my next video. I'll get that as soon as I can. I promise, Todd, I will get to it. <laughs> so uh, everybody have a safe and awesome New Year's. And if you liked my video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, pfft thumbs down and please subscribe to my channel i love you guys i love your comments i love responding to all your comments it keeps me busy it's awesome and uh yeah so happy new year again and uh until you see me again glenn signing off <laughs>